Canelo Alvarez beats Jaime Munguia by unanimous decision and retains his super middleweight undisputed championship. Jaime Munguia, I thought, raised his stock after this fight because he was very good in the first three rounds. He got dropped in the fourth because he was getting a little careless and Canelo Alvarez had been sitting back waiting for openings to counterpunch effectively, which he did throughout the fight. Made the body shot a big target, was also landing right uppercuts whenever Jaime Munguia would dip his head after throwing certain combos. Canelo sort of telegraphed that, read that, and then took control of rounds four through eight. Thought Jaime Munguia had a couple other strong rounds at the end. I gave him four rounds total in the fight. One, three, nine, and I don't remember one of the other ones. But regardless, 116, 111 is how I had it. But ultimately, what we're going to talk about is Canelo Alvarez and what happens next. And what happens next should be David Benavidez. But it doesn't look like we're going to get that. It looks like we might get Edgar Berlanga. Edgar Berlanga sees himself as the sort of front runner here and promotionally, it's an easy fight to make um, because there's been talks about this before. When Edgar Berlanga was signed originally to matchroom boxing, the talk was, hey, Edgar Berlanga wants to fight Canelo Alvarez. They've been getting him ready to fight Canelo Alvarez. As somebody who's of Puerto Rican descent, I can tell you, as much as I would like to see Edgar Berlanga get and win this fight, I'm not sure he has what it takes to beat Canelo Alvarez right now. I think David Benavidez is the only one who does. David Benavidez is a dangerous, dangerous challenge. This is why Canelo Alvarez is asking for reportedly $200 million, <laughs> but he is asking for, as we know, a lot of money because he keeps saying that. He was asked once again about potentially fighting David Benavidez. He wants a lot of money. He probably doesn't want as much money to fight Edgar Berlanga because Edgar Berlanga, no disrespect, easier opponent. So what I would say, the best thing for boxing, Canelo Alvarez fights David Benavidez next in September. What I think is going to happen is Canelo Alvarez fights Edgar Berlanga. And the more we wait, the more David Benavidez becomes a scarier opponent because he's getting to his prime or is starting his prime now, whereas Canelo Alvarez could potentially be aging out of his. Canelo Alvarez turns 34 years old in July. Canelo Alvarez is the best super middleweight in the world right now, but he's not looking as unbeatable as he had in previous years. So my hope is that David Benavidez does get the fight because he deserves it. He's a star. He got rid of Demetrius Andrade. He's beaten Caleb Plant. And he's really one of the hottest names in the sport right now. But Canelo Alvarez holds all the cards. And I think we'd all understand if you don't want to run into the ring with David Benavidez because that is a stiff challenge. So I think he gets Edgar Berlanga next, takes a big payday, takes out another flawed fighter, who is very, very powerful, who has knockout ability, who is charismatic, who's a name, who's popular, and who's gotten better, but is not ready for Canelo Alvarez. And I do hope that it's no later than a year from now that we get Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavides, because more than any other fight in boxing, arguably, right now, that's a fight that needs to happen. There's probably only a couple other fights that need to happen, just as much as, if not more than that one. We need to see Canelo Alvarez versus Dave Benavidez next. That's all we have for today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be recapping. Now you're in a way versus Lewis Neri in a couple of days. Please do subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think. Take care.